more vinegar. Oh my goodness, it's frothing on my tray. I'm starting to see something. Hi friends, it's Miss Emily from Learn and Play Montessori. Today we're going to discover what is inside these three green eggs. What do we usually find in an egg? Maybe a chicken. Oh, we're a duck. Good idea. Do you think it could be a chicken or a duck? Today for our experiment, we're going to use some vinegar. Yes, I have some vinegar in my cup and we're going to pour it over our eggs to discover what is inside. Are you ready to pour with me? Let's have a go. Oh, wow. Listen to that. It's fizzing and bubbling. Oh, let's pour some more vinegar. Oh my goodness, it's frothing on my tray. I'm starting to see something. Oh wow, I see three horns. I wonder if you know what it is yet. Look at that, it's all coming out. Oh, all right. I think I can see what was inside our eggs today. I'm going to put them into some water just to wash them off. Here we go, one, two, and oh, our third one into the water. Let's give them a wash and discover what was inside our three green eggs. These weren't chickens or ducks, they were dinosaurs. Let's have a look at the three dinosaurs that hatched today. First of all, our great Tyrannosaurus Rex otherwise known as a T-Rex. He was a meat eater and you could tell this by his sharp teeth that could grow up to eight inches long. He was also a very fast runner. He could sprint up to 20 miles per hour. That is really fast. Tyrannosaurus Rex, he's pretty scary. Next up, we have our Diplodocus with his really long neck. Kind of resembles a giraffe, if you think about it. Diplodoxes were herbivores. That means that they only ate leaves. No meat for them. Their neck was super long and could reach up to 21 feet. That's the same length as Washington's nose on Mount Rushmore. Super long. Last of all, our Triceratops. Its name comes from the Greek language and it means three horns. Tri means three because it had three horns on its head. A Triceratops was also a herbivore, meaning it also only ate plants. And it had between 400 to 800 teeth. Do you have that many teeth? I don't. <sighs> our Triceratops. If you'd like to make your own dinosaur eggs, make them along with me. All you'll need is some bicarbonate of soda, some water, some food coloring, some cling film, small toy dinosaurs, and then you'll need a bowl and a spoon for mixing. Okay friends, we're gonna go ahead and get started creating our dinosaur eggs. We have all of the things we need right here. Some bicarbonate of soda, some water. You won't be needing too much though. I've got my three dinosaurs and they are quite small. They fit into the palm of my hand. We also have some food coloring. I chose green, but you can choose whatever color you like. And then last of all, I've got my cling film to wrap my eggs in. And of course, you will also need some small things like a bowl just to mix your eggs into and a spoon. And I also chose a plate just to put my eggs on in the end. All right, to start, we're going to go ahead and open up our little box of bicarbonate of soda. So let's open that up now. Here you can see mine is all up. I'm going to go ahead and pour some straight into my bowl. Now I'm going to use about half a box, but if you need to add more, you can just add it as you go along, all right? Now we're going to add our water. 
and we want this mixture to be quite thick so that it molds together. You don't want to add too much water, otherwise it becomes a little bit too runny, okay? So let's add a little bit of water. And again, you can do this step by step. You can add some, mix, and go along. As you can see, I don't have enough water yet. So let's add some more. Mix as you go along until you get the right consistency. This is looking a little bit better. As you can see, it's a little bit thicker. I may even have to add a little bit more bicarbonate soda. It's a little bit too soft. Alright, let's add a little bit more powder. It should be quite thick, okay? It'll be a little bit tricky to mix. So if you need an adult to help you, just ask for some help. Okay, this is looking much better. As you can see, it is now a thick paste. Yeah, and I'm going to add my food coloring. I would like some green dinosaur eggs. What color would you like? There we go, that's enough. Mix that okay, when you are happy with them all mixed in, you can see here's my thick green paste. It should stick together quite a lot. We're going to go ahead and start creating our eggs. And of course, you will need your little dinosaurs to wrap them up in. Okay, so to make it easier, I'm going to get some cling film first. Not too much. I'm going to pull it off. And I'm going to put it onto my plate already. There we go. This bit can be a little bit messy on your hands. So if you have a towel nearby, that's a good idea. All right, well, let us. A dinosaur. Okay, I'm going to hold the dinosaur in my hand like this and I'm going to scoop some paste over it, okay, so that it covers the dinosaur. There we go. I'm going to scoop some over, let me get a little bit more. And now you can use your second hand to mold it into an egg shape. Now if you toss it around, pretend we're doing some baking. Okay. I can see my dinosaur's tail is still sticking out, so I'm going to add some more. Alright, roll it around. This is quite a long dinosaur. His tail isn't exactly going inside the egg. Perfect. You add as much as you need until you have your egg shape. That helps to toss it from hand to hand. Okay, next I'm going to put my dinosaur onto my cling film, right in the middle. And we're going to wrap it around so that it keeps the shape, okay? Because we will be putting these into the freezer, so we don't want it to get stuck on the floor. So we need to roll it around just like this. Right, keep rolling and mold it around until you have your egg shape. Okay, that's one dinosaur. Now, let's finish the rest. Okay, now we've finished wrapping our three dinosaurs into their egg. All we have to do now is freeze them. So come on over with me to the freezer and we can pop them inside and then we can patiently wait for them to freeze before we try our experiment. In they go. Okay, our eggs are out of the freezer. We can start to unwrap them. 
then we can start with our experiments. All you have to do is lightly peel away your plate There we go. To reveal the green star sweat. Alright my friends, thanks for joining me for some dinosaur fun. From everyone at Learn and Play Montessori, see you next time!